Good morning, first grade, again. Um, I want you all to know that I am missing you dearly. Uh, this classroom is way too quiet without you in it. Uh, but I hope that you are having fun at home with your families. I hope you are learning a lot from our videos from YouTube and Brain Pop and all those things. Uh, while we are away, I would like to continue reading some stories. And so today, I am going to read Olivia and the kite party. Now remember, a kite in Spanish is cometa. And so here's an orange kite. Olivia has a butterfly shaped kite. And here is a yellow kite. So in this story, Olivia um, wants to have a kite party. Now, in order to fly a kite way up high in the sky, what do you need to fly a kite? We need wind, right? wind that is going to fly that kite way up high in the sky. And so Olivia finds herself with a little bit of a problem when it comes time for her kite party. Um, but Olivia thinks really hard and she problem solves and she figures out what she can do to fix that problem. And so while I am reading this book, I would like you to be thinking about who are the characters in our story. Quien? Quien está en esta historia? Okay, where is the story taking place? ¿Dónde están en esta historia? ¿Dentro de la casa? ¿Fuera de la casa? Where are they? Inside? Outside? Where is the setting? And then I also want you to think about what is the problem in this story? What happens in this story? ¿Qué pasó en esta historia? ¿Qué es en el principio, en el medio y en el fin? ¿Qué pasó? Okay. What happens in the beginning, in the middle, and in the end? What happens? What is the problem that Olivia has? ¿Qué es, qué es el problema que, que tiene Olivia en esta historia? And how does she solve the problem? ¿Cómo, cómo va a arreglar el problema que tiene en esta historia? Okay. How does she fix the problem? Okay. Think about all those things while we're reading. Okay. So here we go. Olivia and the kite party. Whoosh! It is a very windy day. Olivia smiles. It is a perfect day to fly kites. Now, if you look close, that punctuation mark right there, the exclamation mark, that means we read it with excitement. She says, it is a perfect day to fly kites. Mom, do you have anything we can use to make kites? Olivia asks. Well, Mom says, we have ribbons, streamers, and bows. I do not know how you can make a kite out of them. Leave that to me, Olivia says. So if you look, we have Olivia, looks like a little brother, and her mom are characters so far in our story. And it sounds like Olivia wants to make a kite. After a while, Ian says, I am done. Very nice, Olivia tells him. Are you ready to try it out? Remember that question mark. We raise that voice in the end to make it a question. She says, are you ready to try it out? But we need string, Ian says. Olivia asks Francine for help. I have something even better, Francine says. Yarn. Do you want to make a kite? Olivia asks. There is enough wind for 100 kites. It could be a party. Francine is excited. A kite party, he says. So now we have Olivia and her friend Francine. They're thinking, let's have a kite party. On pieces of paper, Olivia writes, you are invited to our kite party. When she is done, she folds the papers into paper airplanes. 
and sends them flying out the window. So her invitations, she folds into the shape of paper airplanes and she throws them out the window for whoever finds them. Kind of a neat idea. So right now the setting is that they are inside, right? They're making their kites, they're making the invitations, they're inside of where they are. Later, everyone gathers with their kites. Great idea, Olivia says, or great kites, I'm sorry, Olivia says. Is everybody ready? Ready, everyone says. But Daisy has no kite. Where's yours, Daisy? asks Olivia. At home, Daisy says, there is no wind. Ah, no. There was wind earlier, but now what's the problem? There's no wind. How do you fly a kite with no wind? Olivia looks around. Where did the wind go? She asks. Maybe the wind blew the wind away, Ian says. I guess we will just have to save the kites for another day, says Mom. Sorry, Olivia. No wind, no kites, Francine adds. Now, I think this is where Olivia is going to be a problem solver. Let's see what she does. Wait, so what if there is no wind? Olivia asks. We, make, we made our kites. Now you want us to make, now you want us to make it windy. Daisy asks. We made our own kites. Now you want us to make it windy? Daisy asks. We can all blow air, Ian says. So they think everyone should blow. Do you think that will be enough? Let's see. Everyone blows, but nothing happens. We are not windy enough, says Ian. Well, that did not work. We just need to think bigger, Olivia says, much bigger. Now, everyone has a paper fan. They start waving when Olivia tells them. So they've got these paper fans and they're gonna wave those fans as fast as they can. Is that going to work? Let's find out. And one and two, but it does not work. Olivia thinks there is one, only one thing to do. Think way bigger, she says. Make a prediction. What are they going to do? Let's see if you're right. A short time later, Olivia and Ian create a windmill using a teepee. Canoe paddles, fans, and a bicycle. Wow, that is quite the machine. Ian starts to pedal, so he's pedaling his feet on that bike. It is working, Olivia shouts. We have wind. So they have wind, but will it be enough? Let's see. I do not think I have seen so many kites in the sky, Mom says. Looks like yours is ready, Dad tells Olivia. It just needs one more thing, Olivia says. She adds a big red O to her kite. Do you see that O that she put on there? Why do you think Olivia put an O on her kite? For her name, because it starts with an O. There it is. Now it is perfect, says Olivia. She lets go of the kite and it flies high in the sky. The end. So was your prediction right? I don't know. I hope that you enjoyed our Olivia book, that you were thinking who are the characters, what was the setting, and what happened in the story, okay? Take some time, talk to your mom or dad or your aunt or uncle or cousin or whoever is doing school with you. Talk to them about what happened in this story. I love you guys. I miss you and we will see you soon.